everyone, it's your friend Think Noodles, and welcome back to Clash of Clans. Yes, guys, I'm back doing this, and um, I know it's not the usual Sunday. I guess I'm doing this midweek because um, a lot of people have been asking about Clash of Clans because it's been two weeks off, and I actually intended to put this up yesterday, but I didn't really have enough money to do the things that I wanted to do. Do I have enough now? Oh, yeah. There we go. All right, we're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, slowly moving along here with the wall upgrades and whatnot. Uh, now, I've bought everything except for, I th think it is the, yes, the hidden Tesla. So everything else I think I've bought. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. No, that's not the right one. Um, yeah, the Builder's Hut. Obviously, I can't get that one. Army stuff, I think. Oh, and a dark barracks. Okay, so those are the two things I'm missing. Now, uh, if you guys can see here, uh, and, and this is actually working out quite well. Now, in the interim, so it's been, I guess, two weeks since I've done a video on this. And that's because I was away on vacation and I didn't do any raiding. Like, if you look, look at my attack log. Well, oh, really? doing that but maybe I did once on vacation okay uh, oh I did because I wanted to get just a little bit more cash to buy I don't remember I think it was I don't know so, oh uh, oh yeah it was to get enough elixir to uh, to upgrade the barbarians that's what I'm doing right now um, so I got that going but uh, yeah but otherwise, you see, that the last time I raided was like 17 days ago, 18 days ago. So I haven't really been doing much. I've been being attacked a lot, <laughs> like all the time, because I've been gaining a lot of resources. Like, look at that, 10,000 Dark Elixir, uh, but haven't really been using them much. And my base design is poor now that, I, now that I'm TH8. Um, I should have redesigned my base. And uh, I plan to do that, uh, show you guys how I'm going to do that. Uh, but I wanted to, I don't know, I guess do a raid first, see if I can get something decent, uh, and then I can upgrade a few more walls, um, because I'm not going to get enough. Oh, and that's the other thing, like, you see I have 10,000 elixir, oh, 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 yeah, 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 yes, upgrade to town hall level 8, yoo Um, but, uh, if you guys see, I'm, oh, look at that, 500 obstacles is almost done, that's another 20 gems, uh, now, this is what I wanted to show you guys, so, uh, oh, and Bob, if you noticed, level Two. Look at look at Bob level two. I did that also when I was away um, and look I'm already up to 10,000 I can almost upgrade him again and the reason for that is um, uh, It's all been made by the two dark elixir drills now, you know, this one's level three this one's still level one But I found that you know uh, Like so if you go to my achievements the amount that I've actually stolen not that much 20,700 but I've spent well, uh, it was 10,000 to get Bob, then 12,500 to upgrade him. So that's 22,500. And then I forgot how much it was to get the upgraded uh, minions. Uh, I want to say 10,000. So it to me, and I've had a lot stolen, but to me, having these, having two of these, even if it's just level one, makes a big difference in the amount of elixir that you can generate. So that's one of the reasons I upgraded early to Town Hall 8 without having upgraded my walls all the way. Um, and, but I think that that's kind of almost all I need to upgrade still in order to finish off Town Hall 7. Um, my, can't remember much else that I really needed to upgrade. Uh, but, I, you know, I'm getting there. I'm getting there, guys, and we're going to be going to... Do these go all gold? No. I thought they do at level 9. Maybe level 10 when they go all gold. But, um, anyway, so uh, let's let's get that raid going. So I'm going to find a good one. Wow, it costs 580 now? That's getting expensive. So let's find uh, something decent uh, that's worthwhile for me to attack. Uh, we're going to go for gold in this one. So, uh, oh, well, let's see. Eee... Eh, no. <laughs> Those are in the wrong place, so I'll be back. Uh, <laughs> I wasn't kidding about that being expensive. Look how much gold I have, guys. <laughs> I pressed next, and it said, do you want to buy the remaining gold with gems? And I was like, what? <laughs> and then I noticed, I'm broke. I can't even look for the next base. <laughs> it's so bad. Um, so also in the interim, uh, my clan actually fought a war without me, and they fought valiantly. 
but uh, ultimately we didn't win. But great job to my clan. Um, we can look at the map here. So uh, let's look at the enemy map. Let's see. Uh, well, I guess no one attacked one, two, or three, huh? Uh, but anyway, um, here. Let's see. Uh, can we? Can I see? Oh, here we go. Here we go. So uh, attacks use sixty-three. I think out of eighty, I think there were forty in the war. I was not in the war, but uh, one forty-eight. That is. Actually, pretty good. 24 three stars, and it looks like uh, the most heroic attack was Golden Rabbit, and most heroic defense was Jerome. Uh, let's watch this. Since you're not going to be able to see me play uh, a raid, we'll watch um, Golden Rabbit here in a war attack with the, um, what was it, the most heroic attack. So there he goes with that, um, and he's pulling out the clan castle troops. And uh, Dragon cleaning up the wizards quite well, actually. That, that, that did really well, considering the number of wizards that were there. And he's brought in his, uh, there we go. And he's using his ability and a rage spell there. And look at, man, oh, he got a clan castle full of balloons. And wow, that, how is he going to manage this? This looks like a disaster. So although it seems like a disaster, this ended up being the most heroic attack. So I'm trying to figure out how he managed. I mean, look at that. That is that is a pretty serious air defense there. Is he going to make it? Oh, wow. So so he ended up getting all of the air defenses and I guess uh once those were clear, uh, it was it that's what did it. Wow. GG, two stars. I would never have guessed that he would two star this. Uh, with the way that things went at the beginning. So good job on that. Um, so uh, let's see. And uh, I also, um, the reason that we uh, that I, I did the war is because um, right now, if you guys don't know, although it may be too late by the time you watch this, you get double points um, for, uh, for, well, here, I'll show you. Uh, double points for Clan XP. So celebrate the one-year anniversary of Clan Wars by earning double Clan XP from all wars through April 15th. <gasps> So, go for it, guys. Get those extra clan XP. Maybe you can get to level three. I don't think we're going to be able to. And I really don't think I'm going to get enough gold to do anything. But let me show you the base design I'm going to be using on Clash of Clans Builder. So you guys get an idea of, uh, of why I'm going to use it. Um, because of what's important right now. Right now, trophies aren't that important to me. Because um, I'm still really far away from 2,000 gems. So I'm not looking for the uh, crystal, wherever it is, 2,000 trophies, entering the crystal league, wherever that is. Oh, join crystal league uh, right here, 250. Uh, it's still, I'm far, far away. So it's more important for me to save resources and upgrade my stuff than uh, anything else. So it's a farming base and I will be back in a second. All right, guys, I'm here on clashofclansbuilder.com. I'll put a link in the description, but they have upgraded this thing like crazy so uh what i've done is i've gone ahead and gone to plans and then i just went to most used plans level eight farming and that puts us here and uh i'm gonna go with this one it was used the most by far so this one's called triangulation second dark drill updated so uh and let's let this thing load and you guys this thing is really advanced now so what <laughs> okay there's the that's not a stranger behind me. That's Gopi. What are you talking about? So uh, if you guys see here, I mean, they've got like <laughs> the, the, um, it looks like the buttons are all the same. Um, so start a new base. Okay. So we're just going to leave it here. I mean, this is pretty much what I'm going to do. And I'm just going to mirror that into Clash of Clans, but it's really cool. Like you can mouse over everything. Like look, Clan Castle, 2,600 health or hit points, range 24 tiles. So you guys can see when you put it down, uh, this is going to be here and they're not going to be able to draw any troops out, uh, unless they breach your walls, which is great because you can put in some really high level troops in there and not worry about someone just drawing them out and wasting them. Um, and then you can see, look, look, wizard tower, you can see the range, um, giant bomb. You can see the range. I mean, everything it shows you and check this out. <laughs> so you click this and it will show you the range for all of the structures. So you can see right here how it's super like it seemed, well, let me do that again. Cause I moused over it, but you see how overlapped it is around the clan castle and pretty much around this centralized area here is the most covered. And that's what you want. You want to save all of this stuff. 
Uh, you want to keep your, well, you, you kind of want to keep your clan castle safe, but mostly dark elixir storage needs to be safe. Your gold and, you know, um, your, your elixir storage as well. Uh, now, uh, this is another cool thing that you can do. Toggle the drop zones. So um, it'll show where they can drop troops. Um, then from here, oh, they separate regular range from air damage. So if you see, it highlights the ones that can shoot in the air. Um, and so you can see, okay, uh, if anything tries to come in the middle there, it is covered by everything, um, which is sweet. This is really nice, especially if you're in war. Uh, you're worried about balloons and dragons. This will give you an idea of your um, your range uh, and, and how you are defending your base against air targets. Uh, single target. This will show you everything that shoots single targets. And this will, of course, show splash damage targets and you can toggle that off and you can do that too you can layer them all on top of each other oh my goodness it's a crazy kaleidoscope uh also it will show you free spell radius and lightning spell radius so you can go ahead and uh pretend that you're going to place it down so let's see we'll place it like right here and it'll show you how how much uh they can blow up so uh, if you put two things together right here you can see that it's gonna it's you know, it's concentrated in that one spot, but it can get these two buildings. So if you put two things close together, you might worry about them dropping maybe three or four lightning spells at once. Um, and then also, uh, well, actually, was that free spell? Yeah, lightning spell. Well, yeah, whatever. Uh, but yeah, you guys get the point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort of mirror this on my own base. So we can take a look. I don't know if I want to put that up in the corner. That's a weird place for that. Uh, and also, I'm missing one builder's hut because I don't have five yet. <sighs> So, um, I'm going to go and use the, uh, editor thing and spend about a half an hour trying to figure this out. <laughs> so I'll be back in a minute, guys. Okay, guys, the new base is complete. And I, well, I got some money so I can actually go and, uh, maybe make a raid. I don't know. But, uh, here it is. Um, now again, it is a farming base. So my, uh, town hall is way out here. Uh, so that people can come in, get their trophies, and leave. Uh, hopefully leave all of my resources alone. These are not going to be easy to get in the middle here. Uh, there's a lot of overlapping stuff. Um, we'll see how it works out. Um, again, I am still missing a couple of things, and I think I built this side over here wrong because uh, I got a little bit extra. Oh, I got a little bit extra there, but... Um, nevertheless, it should be okay. Uh, let's try for that one more raid. Hopefully I can get one so you guys can see me get a little bit of money here. Cause otherwise, geez, I'm so poor. Well, that disappeared in a hurry. We're just going to go for this one. Even though there's not a lot, uh, I should be able to get a little bit out of it. So this is what I always do in my raids. I always put a few uh, barbarians out, back them up with archers right behind. I probably should have done that a little bit quicker. Um, but then I, uh, then I'll look and see, okay, we've lost a lot of barbarians here. We'll go ahead and add some more. Um, and you just kind of look and see where you need a little bit more support in certain areas right here. would be good. And you just kind of keep the troop level up high enough so that you can, uh, at least get the resources. You don't necessarily have to get a star or anything like that. Although I, I probably, if I don't get a star on this, it's pretty bad. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Um, and are we breaking through? We are breaking through some. Okay, of course they go for the wall that's not broken. Way to go! Um, I'm not even gonna waste Bob. Uh, well, maybe I could, because we could get a second star here. And there we go. Yeah, we should get a second star because, uh, Bob will draw most of the fire from anything. Let's see. Uh, ouch. But, uh, we should. Come on. Come on, Bob. Actually, Bob's not even being touched very much by that, uh, there we go. Now we got this. Oh, look at that thing. Oh, I thought it fired straight up in the air. Uh, so yeah, Bob is Bob is wrecking that thing. So there we go. We got two stars. There's no way we're getting three. That's okay. I don't really mind. So I'm going to go ahead and end this now. We got our two stars. Look at that. Eight trophies and 60,000 gold, which is probably just enough for me to find a decent base. <laughs> With it costing 580 each time I go to the next one. Oh my goodness. That is expensive. That's it. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Clash of Clans. And um, 
you know, uh, I'll put a link to Clash of Clans Builder in the description below. If you want to try my base design, go ahead and check it out. I showed you how to get to it. I don't know how well it'll work. It'll probably won't work that great with the walls I have currently, but eventually it may be a really good base. We'll just have to see and adjust. I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks for watching. And of course, new line. Oh, 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 oh,